Good day, good day! How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland! This is your friend Dan O, and I want to welcome you to a one of Wednesday! Yes! Hey, check it out! We have got something for you! Wow, look at this! Isn't it glorious? Isn't it grand? It's a Range Rover Sport Radio Control 1 6 scale! Woo! Yeah! Unbelievable! <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're, um, uh, I kind of rearranged things here in the shop. I kind of got a spot to, uh, to do this kind of bigger stuff. I haven't really had the, uh, place to do this. Lighting, all that. I still am not quite happy with the backdrop, but hey, we're going to get this done. That's right. We're going to get this done. So what we're looking at today is, if you can see this, this is, uh, well, we can't get down that far. This is a Columbia uh, Gamma, they say. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Telecommunication Group, Inc. That is the group that um, has supposedly put this uh, fine car out. Now, um, this is uh, the one that I have in the box yet. Um, yeah, I know this is a one-off Wednesday, but... Um, I do happen to have another one. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, I bought this at Walmart. This at Walmart. And um, as far as, uh, we'll take a look at the round the box. And as far as I um, can find, there's not a lot of information about this, um, is that, uh, yeah, it, uh, don't mind the junk back there. We'll zoom in and not look at the junk. But it's ready to go. Um, the, the, there's not a lot of information out there about this. Um, hey, if you have one of these, let me know. Um, the bottom of it does say 2005. We're going to just flip and look at it real quick here. 2005. There's the uh, Land Rover Sport, the logo and trademark. 2005 Land Rover. So uh, very kind of cool. Let's just take a look at the... Uh, end here that's as uh about as good as it's gonna get um this truck is uh let's see this is about about 14 the truck itself is almost about 11 12 inches wide uh ages eight and up ready to go two speed selector um actually uh 12 volt rechargeable battery included full functions as it says there and as you notice, there is an orange one here, uh, front and rear suspension with coil spring lock units and uh, all kinds of good stuff there. Let's uh, flip it around to the back side, see what we got back there, huh? Isn't that a beauty? Yeah, there she is. Very, very nice. Now, um, if you're not familiar with, uh, the Sport has a little bit uh slanted back here that's what makes it a sport the uh, regular full flagship range rover is more uh up and down here in the back but uh anyway one six scale full functioning this is uh just an awesome awesome forward reverse left and right steering there's the battery packs and everything once again you see columbia what does that all say uh new york Made in China, Sweet 651, New York. Yeah, there you go. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at the uh, other side here, which should be uh, just a mirrored side. Now, this one, uh, I did not have the uh, optimal storage for this, so it did get a little wet. Um did have some critters on it at one time. This side got damaged here. I do have another box because, as I'll show you in a moment, I do have another one. But uh, that one is a little bit better shape. Funny story, and you see, it's got some wrapping. It did have a cellophane window over it right here. Um, that is all cloudy and dirty and uh, not really fun to look at. But uh, <laughs> we can uh, see this. So, um... I bought two of them at Walmart, uh, two different um, times, I should say. And I bought this one because I thought it was an Air. And not that it would be 
worth any more or less, but I thought it was an error. And uh, the error I thought was this window here, you know, none of the pillars, the A pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar, the back pillar, none of those are painted black. So I thought this was an error, a black car with this uh, uh, silver uh, window or a uh, representational window in it and uh <laughs> yeah i've been thinking that all along and uh just now when i put this out for uh to review i'm under the impression now that's not an error that's just the way <laughs> they made them <laughs> that's right that's right all right now you gotta look at that one hold on let me get the other one for you all right here it is ladies and gentlemen this is the orn orange version of uh, this Columbia Gamma uh, radio controlled car. This is a Range Rover Sport. And uh, I was just uh, talking about how the black one uh, was all black on the top and on the body and had silver windows. Well, <laughs> this would be the opposite of it, but it is in orange. And notice how the whole windows and everything is black. The A pillar, B pillar, C, the back pillar. This is uh, kind of like the original uh, real live Land Rovers, is they have uh, windows like that. So as a manufacturing point of view and looking at that one, I don't think that's an error. I think that's just the way that they made them um, uh, economically, you know, instead of trying to... Uh, uh, paint the car black, then have black windows, and then trying to paint in these pillars, which would be all black, and you would have just the black blob. But anyway, so this one here uh, was uh, my son's at one time, and he eventually uh, got tired of it and uh, gave it up. Oh, let me uh, just quick uh, do a quick measurement of this baby. Uh, let's do it this way so you can actually kind of see uh, what kind of uh, measurement we have here and let's get it out so almost 28 inches yeah about 28 let me get that 28 inches long yep and uh, I don't know what that is in centimeters guys <laughs> all right so there's the passenger side let's take a look at the rear this is the rear here see we're still kind of in the frame here yep and uh, let's what's once again I'm not right-handed, I'm left-handed. So this is uh, almost 12 inches, 11 inches wide. See the sport there, sport on there. Um, I don't remember if the lights light up. I think there is, yeah, the bottom one, there is some lights. Uh, Range Rover on the back. It does have uh, radio control uh, bumperettes on it. Um, third light um, feature there that, that just uh, uh, painted on there. The uh, rear rear uh, wiper is molded into the uh, body. Uh, this sport license plate is added on there. Uh, these are lens details added into it. So really, really kind of cool uh, truck there. This really kind of cool. I don't know if we'd really zoom in much more and give you much more details there. All right, let's flip her around again. All right, there we go. There's the uh, other side. That's kind of the side that we haven't seen would be the driver's side. But uh, really kind of cool. It's got the uh, traditional Range Rover wheels on it there. Very, very cool. Side mirrors on it. Let's take a look at the front while we can. Yeah, now this one is a little dirty. It's been outside and ran around. Um, once again, eventually, hopefully on the channel, I can uh, get some more equipment and things like that. And, uh, you know, I need a little help. <laughs> it's hard to run the camera, uh, run the remote control, uh, and stuff like that to, uh, to, uh, you know, put together a pretty good, uh, video, but, uh, really cool. Once again, license plates added there. I don't know if it did have a sticker for the, uh, Land Rover badge or not, the green one in uh lens details there range rover i think that used to be black the range rover letterings on there but uh really kind of cool it has the winch wipers molded into the windshield you can see that they even highlighted and detailed 
the headlight washers there. Um, can't quite see it, but it does have uh, the front bumper bumperettes for uh, for for the RC uh, stuff there. But really kind of cool. I really like that. So there you go. This is it. Uh, I will have to uh, get this up and going again. Um, let me just show you really quick the uh, remote control to it. So this is the uh, remote control to it. Um, two speeds, power button in the front. I'm missing a knob on one of the directions. So this is uh, uh, forward and back, and this is left and right. I'm missing a little knob on the forward and left. Now it does have a uh, antenna that you take off from the holder and screw it into the hole there. And so then you could have the, I did have this running at one time. You do have the uh, batteries for this and then uh, batteries in there as well. Let's see if we can take a look at the bottom. We didn't take a look at the bottom. Let's take a look at the bottom, see if we can. There you go. There you go, that's all right, huh? Can't beat that. Got a little tips there for the exhaust. Uh, battery there. The uh, zeroing, zeroing indicator so you can line up your wheels so they're uh, zeroed out. But uh, very kind of plain. I mean, it's a uh, RC model. It's not really to be, you know, detailed or anything like that. But nice beefy wheels. These are kind of like a rubber compound. Uh, they're not hard plastic per se. They are uh, kind of a rubber. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for another one on Wednesday. It's a Range Rover Columbia Gamma Communications Range Rover. Uh, this is the 2005, as the box says. Uh, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook. No, 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 Facebook. Uh, Roverland, Facebook. Drop me your picture of this if you have one. Uh, Instagram, Roverland Channel. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, we're uh, hopping along. We're over 400 subscriptions already on this channel, and that is awesome. Um, we're going to do 500. We're going to have a, have a, another giveaway, right? <laughs> Down in the comments, what kind of giveaway do you want, huh? Yeah, tell me what you need there. All right, before I lose my voice again, <laughs> this is your friend Dan. Oh, and remember, slow traffic, keep right. And you guys have a great Rover day.